Good morning, good morning. It's Thursday morning. Um, I can't remember when I picked up the camera last. I think the last time I was talking to you guys is when I dropped off my puppies back to their little um, home in the pet shop. So I hope they have amazing homes to go to. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, an intern that I'm working on. I did mention in my last video that I'm currently um, an internship and I didn't really go into more detail about what I was doing but basically I'm doing social media marketing for them and I wanted to show you because I'm going to be making YouTube videos for them um, I wanted to kind of like tell you guys um, that I will be on YouTube not on this channel but also another channel and I'll be presenting so if I come up on your news feed. I don't think I would because there's not a lot of crossover, but if for some reason a video comes up on uh, your news feed and it's my face and I'm talking about smart home and smart devices, that's why. So I've been editing this video today. Smart home. Smartest home, I should say. So Smartest Home is the Hello, company. Welcome to Smartest Home, a channel where we talk about smart home solutions, amazing gadgets, IoT technology, and ways to make my name's Brittany and I will be making Anyway, it's a little bit embarrassing, but yeah, so I'm making like informational kind of videos for them. Um, their website is www.smartesthome.com and their YouTube channel is Smartest Home. You can check it out if you're interested, but a lot of you probably um, won't need to know about these videos just because they are all about smart devices. because I haven't even got stamps here. Life is really sad right now because it's so flippin' hot. Like I am sweating, I don't even wanna move off the couch. So this has saved me most of summer. And I mainly picked up the camera because I just realized I was watching Conan Gray's um, videos, one of his recent ones about gardening. He's talking about what house he's in in um, Harry Potter. And I haven't done the quiz. Like, I've been meaning to do it for such a long time. And every time I go to do it, I think I just get distracted on the internet. But I haven't actually done the quiz. So I'm going to sit down. I've just Googled it. And I'm going to do it now. And I'll tell you what house I'm in. All right. So the first quiz said that I would be sorted into Gryffindor. So I'm going to do two more and see what they say. And then I'm going to see if I've got three in a row. Or I'll just choose the best two out of three. Okay, so Portamore sorted me into Ravenclaw. So now I'm really confused because I've got Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. So I'm going to have to do another test and see if I get another one of Gryffindor or Ravenclaw. If, not, if I get a different one completely, I'm just going to have to keep going until I get a consistent amount of the same one. Alright, so I just did the BuzzFeed quiz and they're pretty much saying that I'm all of them. This is so annoying. They say that I'm majority Gryffindor. I'm so I'm 29% Gryffindor, 27% Ravenclaw, 27% Hufflepuff, and 17% Slytherin. So 
these three are all really close. So I'm glad I'm not Slytherin because I didn't really feel like Slytherin. This is the time test. Um, the website's called Time and this is the quiz <laughs> time test. It sounded very formal. But this is the quiz and I got Ravenclaw, which I'm so surprised about because I didn't think I was a Ravenclaw whatsoever. All right, there we go. I'm officially a Gryffindor, 85%. You are brave and courageous, just like Harry and his friends. You are always willing to take a risk if it's worth it. Gryffindors are only caught sneaking out at night if there is a purpose. You will never betray your friends or join with Voldemort. Welcome, fellow Gryffindor. And the next one was 76% Ravenclaw. So I'm definitely not a Slytherin. Unfortunately, I didn't get Hufflepuff. Um, but Ravenclaw and Gryffindor was pretty high up there. So I think I always just got a little bit higher in Gryffindor. So I'm going to accept that I am a Gryffindor. <laughs> I just spent like half an hour doing this. This is a ridiculous waste of my time. But oh well. So we're going to go stationery shopping today. Um, it's 9.46 in the morning. So I had a really, really big sleep in. Because um, I worked late last night. I'm just sitting down and finishing my um, cornflakes. And I'm watching Jordan Clark's new movie. Um, along the northern beaches now so it's really awesome because they kind of look like the London buses but they're yellow um, yellow and blue um, so I'm really hoping that the bus is empty when I get there and we'll be able to get the top seat at the very front because it'd be awesome for filming so let's see if we can get that seat
so much is because I love letter paper that you can just rip off like that because um, when I'm writing letters to people I hate when I have to rip out of a journal because it leaves that like scraggly mark so um, I love it when writing paper is like really nice easy ripping paper and I really just like how um, wide this um, these lines are and I just really like this paper I don't know why so I got two of these and they were a dollar each um, and I've also got these little Muji cards just because I thought I could put things on there like um, playlists or favourite movies or even just draw really cute um, like botanical um, flowers and plants on there so I thought they would be really cute to put in pen paling letters and I also got these at last minute so these are writing pens but apparently you can rub them out. So let's do a B and how do you rub them out? Um, I think you rub it out with the lid. I have no idea how to rub it out. Is the lid a rubber? Oh my god it is, look. Ah, that's so cool! I need this so bad because I make so many mistakes when I'm writing letters to you guys. And I finally have a pen that rubs out. Let me do a close up of that in a second. Um, from Daiso, I spent about 30 bucks from Daiso and I was, at the end I was like, oh, did I spend too much on the stationery? But then I was thinking like, this isn't even an expensive shopping trip. Like, I usually spend 30 bucks on like a top or like a dress or something. So, to spend 30 bucks on like all of this, I thought was pretty good because I've worked all weekend. I've worked Wednesday night, third, um, Wednesday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. So, um, I didn't go out all weekend, so I didn't spend any money, so this, I spent 30 bucks for the entire week, so I don't feel bad about spending 30 bucks on stationery. And I didn't buy anything at KKK, and if I did buy something at KKK, then I would have probably spent 30 bucks on one item. So, from Daiso, I got a whole lot of stuff. So I got, um, all of these writing, um, pads, not writing pads, but these are like letter writing kits. So these are just really nice envelopes. I love that they're really nice pastel-y kind of colours. And I really just wanted to find um, an envelope that has a like, really nice simple print on it. Um, this is little dogs on a little letter writing kit. And I've run out of letter writing kits so I needed some more. These are just little polar bears. Um, I also got this little felt kit. I thought I'd try it on camera and see if mine turned out like this little guy. So I might do a little challenge video with him. Um, I got these adorable cat erasers. I had to buy them because they were so flippin' cute. Look at them, they're like meow. Um, and then I got a bunch of hedgehog things because um, a pen pal recently wrote to me and asked where one of my sisters got a pen um, hedgehog stuff and she said she owns a hedgehog and she loves hedgehogs. So I got her little things. I don't know if I'm going to include this one because it might be a bit thick to add into a letter and it might be considered a package but if not I'll use the stamp but I'm definitely going to send her these too just because she said she loved hedgehogs and I haven't sent her letter back to her just because I wanted to find some hedgehog stationery to include um, and her letter was sent to me like October or something last year so I've really got to reply to her ASAP and then I got two little wishy tapes this one's got some fishies on it and this one is just little penguin families so I thought they were really cute and I love all the little goodies I got! So, I'm super proud with my 
haul. Um, just before we leave, how long have I got? I've got another 10 minutes. Just before we leave, I want to show you an app that I've been going on lately. It's called Amino. Uh, I'll do a close up on my camera. Let me just zoom down here. So Amino is the best place to connect with people who share your interests and it's like having a community of people who like the same things as you. So I actually found a pen paling one which is really cool. I've also got a Harry Potter one as well and you can have your little avatar up in this corner and there's community rules so if you want to check it out you can see that and you can see at the moment there's 15 members online. You can also have your little chat section where you can find new pen pals. So, oh, what that popped up. So, oh, uh, go back down. New pen pals, question mark. And you can see that people have just been chatting on this little chat room. Um, and then we've got, like, the friendly feed. So if you want to post things about pen paling. Um, I like the ones where people post, like, um, challenges. So, like, writing challenges or like little images of like outgoing mail or a little artwork they send. I think that's really cool. Um, you've got feature posts. So this one's really cute. I love this little guy so much. Hi, I'm looking for a pen pal. <laughs> and then their name, likes and dislikes, and then you can reply back to them. I'll see if there's any comments. Yeah, lots of people have commented back saying they want to be pen pals. So you could write a little post, put it on this thing, put a little cute photo that people might check it out and then you might find some really cool pen pals so I thought you guys might really like this app because you might find some pen pals this way you can go to the public chat rooms um, check out what's new so yeah I thought you guys might like that oh look seven pink owls look <laughs> that's so cool I'm super excited to see you on here. Oh, thanks. I'm happy. Oh, I should post one of my videos. I watch Seven Pink Gals. She's an Aussie um, pen paling YouTube channel. So I might post my video on here. That's really cool. I'll give her a like. All the love. Yeah, so um, that's all I really wanted to say today, I guess. I'll show you this erasing pen and then I might say goodbye because I've got to go to work. So if I put another B, I didn't really write that very well, you can see. Then it rubs out, it's gone, it's all gone, it's magical, why am I singing? Okay, I really need to go now. Ah. I'll just put this camera, okay. So yeah, you should check out that app if you are looking for pen pals. I haven't really found any pen paling apps before, so um, let me know if you guys like it or if you guys know any other apps um, for pen paling, just because um, it's just another alternative to find pen pals these days. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog today. Um, if you want to see more weekly vlogs, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know um, if you guys enjoyed the weekly vlog and want to see more so i'll see you guys next week bye